Hey guys, Dr. Ben Galliard here, author of the book Rebuild Your Brain, Stop the Damage, Start the Repair, and I run the Functional Medicine Center of Fort Collins, and today I want to go over the top five reasons that, that you did not get the results that you want, the top five things that you did not do when you got diagnosed with a thyroid problem. So most of the time, you went in, Set, told your doc you were tired, you were sleepy, you uh, didn't have your energy, you were cold, emotional, digestion was off, all these thyroid symptoms, and you said, hey, I think something's wrong, and they go, oh, I bet it's thyroid. So what did they do? Well, most of the time, they run a TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Guess what? TSH is a pituitary hormone that tells the thyroid what to do. So we're making a big assumption thinking that just looking at TSH is gonna give us the whole answer and not even looking at the T3 and T4, the actual thyroid hormones. So we've gotta know what is actually going on with the thyroid itself, not just with that feedback loop. So we always have to look at all of the numbers here, all of the thyroid markers, not just the TSH. So this is a crucial part that almost everybody comes in that's missed through this process. Again, we're looking at the top five reasons that you did not get the results that you wanted after getting diagnosed with low thyroid. So the next one is that thinking, taking Synthroid, Levothyroxine, any of the thyroid hormone replacements are going to fix the problem. So here's the deal. There are many steps, up to 24 different steps in the whole process of uh, stimulating thyroid, thyroid uh, kicking out hormone, converting to T3, all these different things. We go over it in depth in our seminars, all these different steps that it just may not be working. And so if all you do is add in T4, again, you're making a big assumption that the rest of the pathways are all working like they should. So obviously, we can't just do a T3. T4 hormone and expect the body to be fixed. And even if even if it did help a little bit, you're still not going to be fixed. You still, when I think about being fixed, I think about going off a medication, a supplement, a therapy, anything, and it doesn't come back. Yours is going to continue to come back if you go off that T4 and you don't fix anything else. The third thing that you probably did wrong when you got diagnosed with low thyroid was not look at your thyroid antibodies. Thyroid antibodies are crucial for knowing what the underlying why of your thyroid problem is. So the underlying why for 90% of people that have low thyroid is Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's is going to be low thyroid from an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is MS, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's, lupus, all these different things, but Hashimoto's and thyroid is one of them as well, over 190 named autoimmune conditions. So we have to go through that process of looking at what is going on with that autoimmune reaction? Is the thyroid actually being destroyed? If it is, we've got to stop the damage. Again, just taking a T4 is not going to stop the autoimmune reaction. So we've got to know what those antibodies are doing. If they're high, we have to treat this as an autoimmune case, not just as a low thyroid case. So have to have your antibodies tested. Then we look at blood sugar. Blood sugar is crucial for us to know what is going on. Energy levels, brain function, all types of different things. But here's the crucial part, if somebody does have Hashimoto's and they do have autoimmune stimulating that, that destruction of the thyroid, every time that blood sugar goes up too high or down too low, it's going to cause destruction of whatever tissue is being attacked. For Hashimoto's, that's going to be the thyroid. So how crucial is it for people to understand what their blood sugar is doing? Absolutely. We call this a deal breaker in my office. Anybody that's not willing to uh, work with us to figure out what their blood sugar is doing, isn't going to work out. We're just not going to get the results we want and we won't work with them. So we have to figure out what somebody's blood sugar is doing. You lose weight, your cholesterol goes down, your blood pressure goes down, your thyroid destruction goes down, you feel better brain-wise, all these things when your blood sugar gets better. And then the third part or the fifth part is going to be anemia. So if we are anemic, that is also going to affect the oxygen to the brain. It's going to affect our ability for the cells to function as well as they should. And even if your thyroid hormone does come up and you are replacing it, you're feeling better, we're slowing down the Hashimoto's, etc. If you're still anemic, you're not going to get the results that you want. You're not going to have that energy. You're still going to have the brain fog. You're still going to have the, the cold fingers, cold toes. This is what I see with patients all the time. If uh, they have symptoms that sound like they could be related to thyroid, guess what? 
they're gonna blame it on the thyroid. But you know what? Probably 75% of symptoms that we see with people that have low thyroid are not even related to their thyroid. So we've gotta figure out the whole gamut. And the number one question that you have to keep asking, keep asking, keep asking is why? Why is that actually happening? So why is there destruction? Why is there damage? Why is there inflammation? Why is that blood sugar off? Don't just take a supplement. Don't just take a, a medication, any of those things. We've got to get to that underlying why of your thyroid being out of balance and not just assume that a medication is going to fix that. So if you have any questions at all, drop us a line, like, share this with as many people as you know that are dealing with thyroid, and we'd love to talk to you if you have any questions.